After last night's debate and Rick Perry's meltdown in Michigan, the candidate and his campaign seem to have a new strategy. Get the voters to laugh with him and not at him. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> it could be gone in 53 seconds for Rick Perry. The time it took the Texas governor to butcher his own talking point on which three departments of the government he would cut was a slow motion brain wreck. But you yeah. can't name the third one? The third agency of government, yeah. I, would, I would do away with the education, uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce, and let's see, oh I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. As soon as the debate was over, Perry knew he was in trouble. He marched right into the post-debate spin room to put out the flames. Yeah, I stepped in it, man. I'm, uh, yeah, it was embarrassing. Of course it was. <laughs> but rival strategists and GOP operatives in the room were already writing Perry's obituary, comparing it to Howard Dean's infamous campaign-ending scream of 2004. <laughs> ranking the debate performance among the very worst in TV history. Who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> right there with Admiral James Stockdale in 1992 and Dan Quayle in 88. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. This was a Chernobyl-style meltdown. This wasn't a tiny little gaffe. This will live forever in the real of debate moments that changed politics. Perry tried to laugh off the gaffe, asking on his website, which department do you want to forget about the most? And he had a few one-liners ready to go for the morning talk shows. Look, we've got a debater in chief right now, and you got to ask yourself, how's that working out for America? But on the online prediction website, Intrade, Perry's odds of winning the GOP nomination plummeted 50 percent. Hundreds of thousands of people had watched the meltdown on YouTube, and on Twitter, the hashtag oops was dubbed the new fail. Perry's flub also gave cover to Herman Cain. Still reeling from allegations of sexual harassment, Cain had a gaffe of his own at the debate when he called former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi Princess Nancy. I apologize for calling her Princess Pelosi. And it was a new opening for other contenders who were vying to become the Tea Party alternative to Mitt Romney. I'm hopeful that people will, will see that we are the alternative to, as a consistent conservative, 